video. So in this video, I actually want to talk about how God showed me what is going to happen at the Beyonce concert, okay? Um, but before I actually get into the video, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button for girl one time for the one time. So, whew, my Lord. Um, Because I know, listen, y'all probably talk, tired of talking about Beyonce, but the Lord told me to do this video. He told me to do this video and he told me to explain what I saw in the vision of Beyonce's concert, okay? Um, but in January, I released a video entitled Christians That Listen to Beyonce, okay? And so um, in that video, I released a prophetic word in regards to Beyonce. And I wanna say about two weeks later, God gave me a vision of Beyonce's concert. Okay, and he told me to to release another word strictly in regards to the concert. Okay, so the first video was about Beyonce, and then the word that I released on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram was just about the concert. And so in this vision, I will say this, I um I don't know, I don't know why God showed me this vision, but it was, I was, I was worshiping one night. I was praying, you know, talking to God, you know, just, just give, you know, reverence in the father and just really having, having some good, good worship time with God. And all of a sudden he flashed me to the Beyonce concert and it was a really quick flash. But what I saw was Beyonce on the stage. Cause I was in the, I was in the back of the concert and I saw Beyonce on the stage and in the auditorium, I saw demons jumping on everybody that was there. So it was multiple demons that were just jumping on all of the people in the audience. And just like that, the vision was over. And I remember, so I cried. I literally cried. I begged God. I pleaded with God for about, it was about five or 10 minutes. I was literally on my knees crying like a baby because people think that they're actually just going to this concert for fun not knowing that they're opening themselves up to spiritual warfare, not knowing that they're opening themselves up to witchcraft, not knowing that they're they're willingly opening themselves up to legions of demons. And I was I, I begged and I pleaded with the Lord just to stop the concert. I said, God, you have the power. God, you are sovereign. Everything is in your hand. God, you are the only person that has the power to stop this concert to shield the people by stopping the concert and God said multiple times it has to happen it has to happen it has to happen it has to happen God said this concert has to happen but he told me he said warn my children he said go and warn my children what they're walking into and so I posted on Facebook, I posted on Instagram, and I posted on my YouTube channel um, under the community tab. I posted um, that spiritual warfare is real. I said that um, this Beyonce concert is going to, I think I said uh, it's going to open people up to, to witchcraft. I said there will be spells, there will be rituals that will be conducted at this concert. Um, and I said, God is warning his children not to go. I said, whoever goes to this concert, um, their, their lives are going to be forever changed. Okay. And so I, I dropped that on all my social media platforms. Cause that is the, those exact words are actually what God told me to, to, um, to put. So I didn't see the spells and the rituals, but when I was typing out the prophetic word, the Lord was like, there will be spells there will be rituals um, that will be conducted at this concert, which will open people up to demons. And so I saw the actual demons that were in the concert. And so after that, after I seen the vision, after I released the words on my social media platforms, um, that's when Prophetess Tiffany, I wanna say maybe a week later, not even a week, I wanna say it was the same week, the same week that I dropped my prophetic word, um, a few days later, Prophetess Tiffany 
dropped her famous rebuke, okay? And so in the rebuke were everything that the Lord had been talking to me about that concert. And so I already knew, I already knew because people started sending me the because people started sending me the clip of, of Prophet Tiffany because I had my Beyonce video out. And so it was more so like, hey, Lyle, look, confirmation, confirmation. And so I was like, you know, glory to God for confirmation. But I was grieved. Glory to God that that the Lord is warning his children through multiple people, through his prophets, through his leaders, through his prophetic people. I'm just a prophet. I, I'm not a prophet. I'm, I'm just prophetic. So, but uh, glory to God that, you know, God is warning his children, but his children are not listening. Some of his children, let me not say all, let me not say all, but some of his children are not listening, especially when it came to prophetess Tiffany because of the delivery, because of the delivery, because it it was it was delivered with with righteous indignation because it was delivered with anger because it it was it was delivered as if the spirit was grieved the spirit was grieved and when i listened to the video I listened to the full video. I actually went back and watched. I had, I was already, I'm already a part of, of Prophet Tiffany's ministry. And so I had planned to go back and watch that cover by God anyway. I just hadn't got around to it. So I went back and actually watched the full, the full clip of because I was like, maybe I'm I'm missing it. Like why I, I was I was confused as to why social media was upset. So I was like, let me go and watch the full thing. Cause maybe she said some stuff that other people saw that wasn't right. Cause my clip that I seen, hundred percent the Lord. So I went and watched the full segment of the rebuke, and it was the Lord. It was the Holy Spirit speaking through Prophetess Tiffany about the concert. But because the delivery was not what people preferred then it was not well received. And God reminded me, cause I was, I was like, Lord, why? I don't understand. Why do people keep just saying like, like God wouldn't, you know, talk like that. God wouldn't, doesn't act like that. God delivers everything in love. Like I was super confused by the reactions to her delivery of the message. And so God has to kind of, he kind of, God, God loves to do this. He'll take me back. He'll do a flashback of how I was. He'll, 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 he'll kind of like, be like, Hey, don't forget, like this used to be you. And it, it did. It, it was before I started walking with the Lord. Um, I, I had this view of God that was false. I had this view of God that was false. I thought God was loving, you know, only, only loving, only patient, only kind, you know, and my definition of loving when it came to God back back then was 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 gentleness, was was kindness, you know, um, all of all of the the positive aspects of love was what I what what I attached to God. So if I seen anything that was opposite of that, oh, that's not love. Why first of why are you being aggressive? That's not love. Okay, why are you yelling? That's not love. Why are you showing all this emotion? That's not love. Mm -mm, that's not God operating. I don't know what you got going on, but that's not God. And so I remember when I started walking with the Lord in 2014, and I actually sat down and started reading my word. That's when my view of how God operates in love shifted. That's when it changed. Because I started to read I, first, I started from Old Testament to New Testament. And so I started to read how God would, would speak through his prophets. And I started to, to read how God would speak to his prophets, okay? And, and I started to, to read how Jesus would, would talk to people and how Jesus would talk to his disciples and just how Jesus really just moved. And I was kind of like, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause for the calls because... Cause Lord, <laughs> you hardcore. 
Like I, I legit, a lot of times I was like, Lord, that's that's aggressive. That like that's kind of aggressive for me, you know. But it wasn't, it wasn't like a like God, like you aggressive. Like it really was like a like God, I can't believe you actually really like you said this and you know in this manner. Like I was really that was really just me actually getting to know God and realizing that God is not always gentle. God is not always kind, you know? God is patient, but his patience, it stops. There's boundaries when it comes to his patience because he'll give you chance after chance, he'll give you mercy, you know, he'll give you grace. But after so much of that, then that's when it flips to God's wrath. After so much of that, that's when God, uh, God turns on his anger. Mm -hmm. That's when God gets really upset. Okay, when it, when it's when it's when it's enough of the grace and the mercy and the gentle God, when we take advantage of that side of Him, then the other side of God flips on. The other side of God flips on, which is the anger, like I said, which is the um, which is God's wrath, ex experiencing God's wrath. And which is essentially just anger. I, I keep wanna, I keep wanna say some other stuff. Like the Holy Spirit just saying anger, anger. The anger side of God was what I really started to open my eyes up to and realize that God is not always just patient and kind and loving and all things good when it comes to how He deals with His children. It's not always peaches and cream when it comes to how He deals with His children, especially when it comes to mixture. When it comes to mixture is what the Holy Spirit keeps telling me that he is upset about this whole Beyonce concert because it's mixture. M-I-X-T-U-R-E. I, -E. I got to spell it out because I'm, my, my, I'm country. Mixture. God is saying there's too much mixing the holy and the profane. There's too much mixture of his body of Christ mixing in with sin. Mixing in with other gods, mixing in with, with people that are attached to other gods, okay? Mixing in with the world, mixing in with Satan, because we know that when it comes to other gods, when it comes to the world, who is the head over all of that is Satan. And God is angry at his children mixing with Satan, that is, where the, that is where the wrath is coming in. That is where the angry is coming in. That is why Prophetess Tiffany delivered the word that way. It's because God is angry at this entire situation. He is angry at this entire situation. But you know what? I hear you, Holy Spirit. God is saying that even in his anger... He's still loving. Even in his anger, he's still watching out for his children. And you want to know how he's watching out for his children? Because he continues to send warnings. That's love. That's love. He continues to send warnings about what is going to happen uh, at this concert. What is going to happen if you continue to follow Beyonce? What is going to happen if you follow any of these other artists? Because even in the rebuke, uh, Prophetess Tiffany mentioned Jay-Z. And that is something that God wanted me to highlight in, in my video as well. Mention Jay-Z because he is esteemed. He is glorified. He is put up on this pedestal in the world as a great. And God is saying he think he a God. Jay-Z think he a God. He should not be esteemed. He should not be put up on this pedestal. The, the holy should not be mixing with the profane. And so God is very upset at the mixture. The mixture is the main thing that God is, up, is upset about it, uh, is upset about. And when you mix the holy and the profane, that's when it becomes dangerous. That's when it becomes dangerous because you do open yourself up to spiritual warfare. You do open yourself up to demons. You do open yourself up 100% to Satan to have his way. 
have his way. So I, um, so God gave me two, two verses to highlight. And so these are the verses that he gave me. So, because when I went to him about this video, I was like, Lord, I need you to bring to mind back the verses that I read when I was like, you hard cold, you hard cold. And so a lot of the verses that I thought was, you know, aggressive was more of the old Testament, the stuff that he had his prophets um, to say and to do, I, I thought it was very hardcore. But God said, "No, mm -mm, don't don't even address the 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 prophets. Don't even address the Old Testament. Let's bring it straight to Jesus. Let's bring it straight to Jesus, and let's highlight when when He has been aggressive. Okay, let's highlight when He has been angry. Let's highlight when He has been upset. Let's highlight the other aspect." of love that the world doesn't want to cling on to because the world believes love is gentle and kind and patient but there's really another aspect of love and god wanted me to highlight with these two with these two verses okay okay so the first verse that god um or the first first story that god wanted me to highlight is matthew chapter 21 verse 12 and it reads Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The second story of verse that he kind of wants me to highlight is John chapter 2 verse 13. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple courts, he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and others sitting at tables exchanging money. So he made a whip out of the courts and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. Verse 16 says, to those who sold doves, he said, get out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, zeal for your house will consume me. And so God wanted me to highlight both of those stories and ask, he, want, he wanted me to ask this question. If you were in the crowd that day and you saw Jesus flipping over tables and whipping everybody, all the cattle with a cord. Would you say that's in love? Would you say that that is kind? Would you say that that is being, being patient? Would that fit your ideal view of God? Jesus flipping the tables, Jesus using the cord to drive out the cattle would would that still fit the same the same bubble not bubble but just the idea of love that's in your mind and so god is saying right now we have we have really got to shift our view we really got to shift our view and god said jesus ultimately was upset because of mixture because of mixture mixing the profane with the holy Mixing the profane with the holy. So Jesus was angered. Jesus was angered. And the scripture says, zeal for your house will consume me. And the Holy Spirit is saying, zeal for my body, which is the, the body of Christ, will consume me. The body of Christ that is mixing with the profane. The body and the profane, body and sin, body and Satan, Satan. God is ultimately, ultimately upset because we are mixing in with Satan. And the Holy Spirit is saying, um, some people that are watching are like, so, so how is, so how is Beyonce? Satanic. How is that profane? How how are we mixing in with 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 Satan if we are going to a Beyonce concert? So Beyonce has 
said out of her mouth that she embodies a Yoruba goddess named Oshun. Okay. She has portrayed Oshun in a lot of her videos. She's portrayed Oshun in a lot of her, her imagery. She's, um, she said it verbatimly in her songs. Okay. And we know that Oshun is not Jesus. We know that Oshun is not God. We know that Oshun is a demonic, a demonic entity. Because if it's not of the Holy Spirit, it's of a demonic spirit. It's black and white. And she, God has said she is not a follower of Jesus. She is a follower of Oshun. And she said that out of her mouth. She as ascribes to Oshun. So what is going to be at that concert? Oshun. The spirits that are attached to her. The demonic spirits that are attached to that goddess is going to be at that concert. Not the Holy Spirit. But the body, some of the body of Christ will be going to that concert. So you got Oshun profane and you got holy. Which is, which is the body of Christ, mixing the profane with the holy. Another thing the Holy Spirit is saying is let's not forget that in her, in her song, she said she used the, a tampon, uh, she used the Bible as a tampon. She has no respect for the word of God. She says she uses it as a tampon. Profane, the body holy, mixture. God is saying, he has called his children to be set apart. He has called his children to, to follow God and God alone. Don't entertain these other gods. The first commandment says, there should be no other God before me. And before means in my presence. There should be no other God in my presence. And so with you, with, with some, I'm not going to say you, with, with people that are listening to Beyonce, that's bringing Oshun into God's presence. That's bringing another God into God's presence. Which is against the first commandment. Which is against the first commandment. And God wanted me to highlight that the reason why Prophetess Tiffany mentioned the, the pastors, because God said it starts with the leaders. The reason why a lot of his children are mixing is because the leaders are mixing. A lot of the reason why the body is mixing is because the, the, the leaders and the pastors are mixing. Even the prophets are mixing. A lot of them are, are not prophesying out of the spirit of God. They are prophesying out of a demonic spirit. God is saying there is a lot of mixture going on. Now, I don't want left with the, with the comment about the prophets, but that's real. But when it comes to Beyonce, a lot of pastors are celebrating her. A lot of pastors are promoting her concert. A lot of I seen I seen a post the other day where a pastor said, me and my wife can't wait, can't wait to go to the concert. We just going to pray beforehand, but we still going to go and enjoy ourselves. This is a pastor saying we're going to pray beforehand, but we still going to go and, 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 and open ourselves up to Oshun and all of the other spirits that are attached to her. God is saying that we have got to be aware in this hour. This is not the hour to be blind. This is not the hour to really not pay attention to what is actually going on. To really not pay attention to what these artists are involved are involved in. To not pay attention to what these celebrities are involved in. To not pay attention to the music that you listen to. The TV shows that you watch. The movies that you watch. The celebrities that you celebrate. To, to not pay attention to the, the games that the children are playing. If we want to keep going there. The games that the children are playing. The, the movies that the children are watching. 
the environments that the children are in, and God is saying specifically the, the school environments that the children are in, God is saying this is bigger than just Beyonce. This is bigger than Beyonce. It's really just being aware of all of the demonic activity that is happening. And when it comes to Beyonce and it comes to just music in general, God is saying that um, the artists are telling you who they're associated with. The artists are putting it in their music, who they praise, who they are attached to. God is saying it's in the music. It's in the lyrics. But we have to pay attention to the lyrics, to what they're saying, to the imagery, and not, and not think that it's just art. That's the same thing I said in my first video about Beyonce, is that we look at some of this, this, this imagery as just art, but God said, no, that's demonic. Those are, you're looking at spirits. Those are demonic spirits that you're looking at. That's not me. That's not me. Okay, and so the Lord also wanted me to, to mention that I have a friend, okay, and she's prophetic as well. And she, number one, she didn't even, she didn't even know I released a video about Beyonce. Okay. She hasn't, she hasn't been, you know, up to date on my YouTube video. So she didn't even know I have, I have a video about Beyonce, but she told me that the Lord told her to go to the stadium where the Beyonce concert is going to be and start praying on the grounds, start covering, covering the grounds of the concert because the Lord said at this concert, there will be demons, legions of demons released into the cities. Okay, and so the um, the this the stadium where it's going to be in Arlington is the AT and T Stadium, and so God told her to start praying on the grounds of the stadium to combat the legions of demons that are going to be released into the city. Right now, God is saying that it's not just that concert though it's not just arlington he said at every concert that she goes that's why it's a worldwide concert this is why it's a worldwide concert because every concert every city that she hits legions of demons are going to be released into that city Legions of demons are going to be released in the spiritual realm whenever that concert happens. And so God is saying for us right now, if you are close to uh, the stadium, wherever her concert is going to be, if you're close to it, God is saying he's asking that same thing. Go to the prayer, go to the concert and start praying on the prayer grounds. Now, God is not saying you can go the day of, but God is saying go ahead of time and cover those grounds in prayer. Cover your city in prayer. So even if you're not close to where the concert is going to be, cover your city in prayer. Because this is about to be, <sighs> bruh, I'm. This is about to be, it's really about to be crazy what is unleashed from this concert. And that is why God is sounding the alarm. Oh Lord, come on, because I can't, I got, I got to do some videos after this. But this is why God is warning his children about this concert. Because God, God sees what Satan is doing. God knows what Satan has planned, what he has brewing for this concert. And God is, that's why he's sounding the alarm for a lot, through a lot of his leaders, a lot, through a lot of his people. If you have been in prayer with the Lord consistently, I guarantee you, he has said something about Beyonce to you, something about Beyonce something about her because he is warning his children if you follow beyonce you follow satan if you support beyonce you support satan and if you go to this concert you open yourself up to satan and the cities that she is that she's hitting she is the city is being open for satan but that's why God is charging his people to get in your prayer position and start praying against these demons that are going to be released. 
Start praying against this concert. This is one of the biggest concerts. Uh, I hear the Lord saying Michael Jackson's concerts were like this as well. There was a lot of stuff released through his concerts. But God is saying this is, this is Michael Jackson 2.0. This is Michael Jackson 2.0 when it comes to what's being released. I don't know if the Lord has been talking about Michael Jackson to anybody, but he has been talking about Michael Jackson to me and what has what was being released through his music. And so God is saying the same thing is happening with Beyonce when it comes to her concerts and her music. What is being released? What is being released? And so I pray, I pray that you please, please, please Please take this serious and start praying against the spiritual warfare that is about to happen. That's already happening. That's already happening. That's already happening. We saw, we, I don't know if y'all seen the clip of the, of the, of the movie that's, that's coming out. Like it's not even, in, it's not even hidden no more. It's obvious the, the demonic influence that Beyonce's music has. There's, there's a movie that highlights the demonic influence. And people think it's just entertainment. Satan is blinding people in the name of entertainment. And God is saying we have got to get serious and start praying against the demonic influence that is being pushed in our world. The spirits that are being unleashed in our world through the music, through the entertainment. Through the celebrities. A lot of the celebrities are Satanists. And we celebrate them. We, we, we worship them. We praise them. Not knowing that we're, that we're worshiping and, and, and celebrating and praising the God that they're attached to, which is not our God. There's, there's two things that God wanted me to make sure I, I hit before I close. And the first thing is he wanted me to make sure I let everybody know that if you came up against Prophetess Tiffany because she was fulfilling her assignment from God, you are at odds with God. You are not in good standing with God if you came up against Prophetess Tiffany. And that's not me just being like, oh, big ups to Prophetess or nothing like that. No, I'm, I'm literally letting you know what God told me to let you know, what God told me to say. If you came up against Prophetess, you came up against him. Because that was her assignment to deliver it exactly how she delivered it. That's exactly what the Lord said. Deliver it exactly how she delivered it. Say everything that he wants her to say. That she fulfilled her assignment with that, the clip. The clip was her assignment. That was, that was, that was her, her word that the Lord said release. The delivery, the tone, the words, everything was from God. Everything was from God. And God is saying he wants those that are open to it. Because some people are going to hear this and be like, girl, bye. I still don't agree with the delivery. That's fine. But for those that are feeling the conviction, the, those that are feeling like, okay, I, I feel like I need to, you know, get right with God. Um, God is just saying repent. Repent for speaking out against him. And all will be well. But you got to repent. You got to repent. And the second thing that God wanted me to mention is um, there will be some people who watch this video that already have tickets and now they're torn. They've already spent all this money and now they're torn because they feel the spirit of God telling them don't go. They feel the Holy Spirit warning them don't go. They feel uneasy right now. They've been feeling uneasy ever since they got the tickets. You know, they see the warning, they see the flashing, but they, they paid the money. God is saying they paid the money. So what do they do now? And God is saying, if you honor him, you follow him, you choose him over Satan, because ultimately we already know that that. This is going to be demonic activity at this, at this concert. So if you choose him over Satan, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. God said that he'll give you back everything that, that you paid for this concert if you just choose him. Don't resell. Don't resell. Holy Spirit said don't resell. 
Don't resell them tickets. Don't resell. Don't resell. Just don't go. Just don't go. Just don't go. Look at look at paying paying for this ticket as a lesson learned. Don't go and turn to God. Listen to God. Honor God. Respect God. Heed to his warning. Do not go. He's saying that he's saying consistently, he will give you back what you paid. He'll give you back what you paid. He'll give you back what you paid. Just don't go. Just don't go. Okay. Well, that's that's actually all. Um, that's that's this is my assignment. This is all I had to deliver. And so I pray that, you know, everybody will take this word back to the Lord. Everything that I say, everything that anybody says, always take it back to the Lord. Test the spirit. Test the spirit. How do you test the spirit? With the word. Test the spirit with the word. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Is that how? It, that is how in my video. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.